Hey Turtle Nerds, welcome back to another video. So today I have something a little different in store for you guys. Today, I'm a turtle chef. Okay, so we are off to Perry's Bait and Tackle for the freshest ingredients, folks. We only get quality here. Only quality, fresh, fresh ingredients. Mwah! These, these are fresh. Real, real good. Real spicy. That's, that's the good stuff. Let's go like four shrimp. Fresh ingredients only. Any more water than that, you're gonna have Yeah. Bad time. Fish can, uh, fish can carry parasites, so they're no bueno. But crabs, crabs are fair game. Oh, uh, yeah. Keep it fresh. Get, get this, get this shot. Look at those little fellas. You guys ready to become lunch? So now, they're not going to eat nearly this many. So, some of them we might set free. Spicy. Sterile. Keep sterilizing folks. Make sure to keep sterilizing folks. You're gonna want to keep it nice and clean. Nice and clean for our uh, our ingredients. Alright folks, so the first step you're gonna want to do is go ahead and use the same water that you have in your enclosure. In this, this is the perfect broth because it doesn't have any chlorine or any nasty stuff like that from straight tap water. If you use tap water, use a dechlorinator. But we're using a, uh, uh, a nice broth from the turtles directly from their little pond, from their enclosure. We're putting it right in here. This is step one, folks, of the uh, first ingredient. The first ingredient is shrimp. Now, we're going to prepare the crabs by cutting the claw, the really, really big claws off. Otherwise, they can hurt a, they can hurt the, the specimens. Open up a nice can of crabs. Here you go, fellas. Mamma mia! Oh, uh, they're climbing. No! This is bad. They can climb. All right, folks, crabs can climb, turns out. So we're gonna go ahead and get them a little something, something else. Oh, shit. Spicy. Uh, we're gonna do a little more water. You can see the, uh, they're beginning to marinate, if you will. Now, we need to prepare. Come here, little friend. Look at that claw. I'll be taking this. All right, so it looks like little jalapeno has found himself a girlfriend. As we can see, folks, little jalapeno is the tree frog that lives in my filter, and it seems got a little girlfriend. So that's pretty neat. Okay, so after we have taken all of the males and cut off the claws, that way they can't pinch our beautiful turtles, we got it a, a como se dice in the crabs. We got crabs, folks. Let's add them to the uh, to the to the meal. Get all those claws up in there as well. Oh, there's a male with a full claw. We're gonna go ahead and take him out. I have this expert device. 
used for. So as you can see, that is a big claw. That will ruin one of my turtle's days. So. Who shall we add first? Let's take a look. Children, come hither. Let's begin, shall we? Come here, little bean. Sweet as can be. Observe, folks. a little more interesting. Pancake. Oh, come on, beef. When the moon hits your eyes like a big beefy pie, that's amore. Ah. Uh. You know, this is this is great and all, the two of them together. I think I think we can put them all together now. Pancake! Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Spicy, spicy, spicy. Go! It's time to uh, uh, get them a little, a little shrimp, shrimp video. Here we go. Here you go, beef. Took one bite. They shared. They split it. Good job, fellas. Well. I didn't get it on camera, but they got the shrimp. Oh, that's the filet. Who's gonna get it? Now, normally I do feed separately. However, there were so many crabs that I didn't think it was that big deal. See, and Pancake's usually very good about sharing. He's just checking underneath him. I believe there's a crab hiding. Yes, there was. Good job, fellas. You did such a beautiful job. Now we're gonna 
check for, for any injuries just to be safe. As you can see, she is perfectly fine. Bean is totally A-OK. -okay. There's like not even a scratch. That's how tough that these, that these fellas are. Go ahead, little, little one. All around me are familiar faces, worn out. The children will tell me when they are finished eating. So as you can see, Pancake is trying to escape. So we're just gonna grab him. We're gonna observe for any pinch marks, anything wrong with him. Nope, he looks beautiful, beautiful. Uh-oh, I forgot that this was filling. <laughs> Everything's great. Well, maybe, maybe I'll go ahead and uh, drain that a little. Beef, he is also finished eating. You can see right there. It's just... Hey, fella. Observe. Inspect. Looks good. All four legs. Excellent. My clients, I believe, uh, are, are quite pleased with this meal, this beautiful uh, seafood medley. So um, I think that uh, I'm getting I'm getting a nice five stars, maybe a good tip. So uh, I would say that this was well worth it, to be honest, folks. Thank you all for watching this exquisite episode. Uh, I will be back with more informational and educational uh, video probably in the next week. But uh, thank you for enjoying this spice of life. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of educational turtle videos. And give this a like if you enjoyed it, you found it a little funny, you like my chef hat, you like my homemade apron. And uh, hit the little bell thingy so you don't miss any more of my videos. But that's going to be it for this one. These kitties are all filled up. And now I have some carcasses to dispose of. Typical Monday. Thanks for watching.